good because I'm poor. That's that's the that's the line we're looking for. Joe, Jake. Yeah, so I, I went on the island. It was seven degrees when I left in San Francisco. There's a wind. The wind made it feel like it was. I thought my house was going to blow away. It was unbelievable. So as I'm driving down, I'm like, my wife and I are off. Oh, it's up three degrees, it's now 23 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> like, shut up. <laughs> oh, I don't do the cold. Uh, you know, I am not a cold weather girl at all. It, this is the I, I like I do some winter sports, I, you know, I used to snowboard and this is even colder than I want to like, This isn't fun. Mm-hmm. This isn't fun cold. It can't even get snowing. Right, it's tight. Yeah. Okay. Now later on we're gonna I'm gonna have you download an app later that if you want to jump on it and you can try it out now. Um, you go to certifymyhome.com or you go to the app store and search for certification. Um, so that's part of what we do uh, is focus the presentation. Okay. Do they have a mobile app? Yeah, that's the that's the app. Okay. Yeah. So if you, no, you can actually sign in with Facebook too, which I encourage because it, it does have some mobile capabilities, um, social capabilities, as we're improving the app. So, yeah, those are the features. Okay. Um, Sorry, Joe, you said the app store is called. You could just search Pearl Certification. Thank you. All right. That's so funny. I I haven't used a uh, a PC in like I don't know how many years, and I'm like trying. I'm left. I'm right clicking when I should be left clicking. It's amazing how quickly you forget. Wow, it's so cool. So you guys all from from the area? You all- Born or are you located here? Or? I'm from Arizona. Oh, what you doing here? So, <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you move here? Well, I've been here for a long time, but prior to that, um, my father was in the military. So, he passed. We were in Tennessee at the time. I had siblings here, so I was young. And my mom back here since then I have I just moved back from Florida a year ago so I've kind of come and go um I got married and had two children and had grandchildren everybody is grown and, and so I took off and moved to Florida and kids didn't have really much of a nest since I was already I'm back <laughs> but that's all right. yeah, I, I love so we started doing some work out in Arizona, and um, we're actually in the middle of doing a pretty cool, pretty cool thing at City Phoenix. And um, I don't want to visit out there. I have to just play like I fell in love with it. Now I haven't. I was out there in August, but it, it wasn't ridiculously hot. Like it was, it was hot, but I, I had a feeling that I just happened to catch it at like the right two days or three days. I don't know. Um, but, it's a different kind of hot, though. It's very different. I mean, there's no humidity. So it's it's very, very different. I mean, it will, um, that I will end up back out west. So I told my daughter is, is this, she's older, but I told my son, um, I said, all right, 
maybe I'll have two years. <laughs> and I'm out. <laughs> Figure it out. Get it together now. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I get to, it's one of the things I like about the job that I get to travel alone to these many places. Denver to me is another one of those cities like that. I just I fell in love with that place. It's really, really, really nice. Really, really nice. I, I, and I don't think you have that, because everyone thinks oh, the winters in Denver are brutal, and it's just really when you hit the mountains. You're in the city of Denver, not so bad. So I, I, I kind of like that. I was there, I spoke to the Uber drivers. How long is the golf season? It's like it's pretty long. Hmm. I, I couldn't get over that. I thought you would get hit with that in the winter. Right. Um, he said, nah, it's really, like, really kind of real. Yeah, there's some parts I like better than others. Like I can't tell the resort to work. I don't do the sit. I don't do sit. Okay. I, I, no desire. Not interested. I'm good. If, I'm okay if it takes four five minutes or an hour to get to the so I'm alright with that. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a stopper and I don't, so I'm okay with being out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, don't get me wrong, I like, like, I love to travel. And I travel and I like, but I like to see things that, like locals experience and stuff like that. I'm not the one who, like, I'm not going out of the country and going shopping. That's not happening. <laughs> and I'm not going in elbow and shoving, trying to see something that I can probably YouTube or see at some point on the big screen somewhere. So I want to see my, like one on my bucket list, I ride motorcycles, so on my bucket list I want to go to Ireland and I want to do that. Yeah, that's cool. Like, um, and what kind of bike? See your Harley? Crotch rocket? Crotch rocket. <laughs> Thank you. That's no, I don't do that. I have rope, but not my cup of tea. I have friends who rope with. Bob, are you up In terms of living here, I've lived here since uh, 81. So, long time. How did you move out? Uh, out of the uh, well, I was in a military family also, so I traveled a good bit growing up, but uh, yeah, I lived in Virginia. Moved down here after college. Thank you. Who do you go school? Women there. And how long have you guys been in middle school?
How's the franchise business doing in your opinion? Um, it depends on which one. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't, uh, I think it, uh, the space got crowded. I, I think uh, the last downturn was really, uh, I see a lot of value. Please really don't say that. No, but, no, I, but I, I think like when you, when you look at someone like Michael and, and, you know, and what he provides in terms of training and whatnot, you know, the new models aren't allowing that. You didn't have the HR. It, it's, it's cut down professionalism of agents. So I hear like, well, I'm going to go for it here for more money. And more is always not better. It's like, it's a good you know, like I, in Long Island, we have this thing. So like you, you know, come up with these fancy, trendy Italian restaurants. Sometimes like, they'll go to that one big meatball. And you're like, well, just good. Oh, it's great. It's got a big meatball. No, no, no. It's a, a big meatball doesn't necessarily mean it's a good meatball. So you have a big meatball, you have a big meatball that stinks. Or I could have three smaller people that are really good. What would you rather have? I'd rather have three smaller people that are really good. So I think it's the same thing with service, right? So when you look at like a, you look at these brokers, they're like, oh yeah, no, go out. You know, you, you know enough, you can go out and get 100%. You can go out and get your thing out of the I think you can give a little bit more to your agents to kind of be more successful. That's what that's. Well, you are, you know, I would say this. I, I, I don't, I just finish my business plan. Identify that that is the, the opportunity. The opportunity is the because uh, I, I I grew up in a business, in a family where my father was um, the coal banker when they owned they owned the business. They were franchising, but it was really it was still a large business with training and management like Michael. Every office had a Michael, and I grew up in that. And you certainly had to watch. Now it's it's the wild west and who knows what your the level of training. But that's for, for the agent, right? The individuals that's right. the opportunity. The opportunity is, you know, try to do a better job and, and, and create space for yourself based on uh, your knowledge and your service and um, Yeah, it, you know, when I say that so now I'm partial because I worked for a long time I think it's because of Obviously, price because um, I, I don't think you could have enough training. I don't think there could be enough tools and systems that you can get an agent. Because you're never going to use, if I give you 100, I don't want you to use 100. I want you to pick the four or five that you're going to create a killer business around and hope. You know, the same thing goes for Pearl. Like, you know, but everybody who takes this training, you know, there's some people that sit there and say, oh, this, this is the key for me. When I sit down, the, on a listing presentation, I can leverage this and I can be more successful using it. Which is great. You know, other people look at it, I don't know if I can work that in my book. Um, you know, but I think as an agent, you sit there and say, how many tools do I have on my arsenal? How many am I going to be able to leverage on a daily basis? To be, to be now, what's your customer want? Right. right. Our, as an example, our Charlottesville is a quirky market. Special and unique and, and above the fray. And so, franchises, frankly, have never had a great deal of success in our market um, because I don't think our customer, the clientele, likes the idea of being homogenized. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, at the end of the day, you, you've got you to figure out how you fit into that. Right? How do you fit into what your customer wants? And they don't want training and they want low fees, then it will. Ultimately, uh, you know, permanently impact the quality of the business and the quality of the service. I don't. I tend not to believe that. I, I personally think real estate is a complex business, and it has a lot of risk associated with its decisions. And needs people who know what they're doing. Yes. Now, I, I could be proven wrong, um, but I, I think you do have to. You got to figure out what what it is. Certainly, you can't know all of it. You have to associate yourself with. I feel like I've done that with Roy Wheeler. I came here just for the track I mean, Michael, I, I've known Michael for a long time and, and respect him on a personal level. Um, but I came here because they still train people. Right. No, it, it, listen, what he does, it, you don't you don't get much of this. I mean, this is the second time I've been here. I mean, you don't get much of this. Oh, okay. 
So like if I, how do I know it's recording me? How do I, it's definitely recording it? Okay. All right. I'm good to go. So. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, You've been talking for a while. I know. Yeah, I know. so. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Sally. It appears to me that your home is going to qualify for a very special certification. After we sign this listing agreement, I'm going to bring in a certifier to certify your home so I can market it correctly to gain maximum value. That's the statement that we're working towards today. So my name is Joseph Gentio, I work with Pearl Certification. I'm here to talk to you today about a nationally recognized certification that's going to help you win listings and sell them for maximum value. So I'm going to start off by letting you know that Pearl certified homes sell for 5% more at closing. Okay, so that's to my original statement, why it's so important that you identify one of these homes. Okay, not all homes are going to qualify for it. As a matter of fact, only 25% of the homes in the country will qualify. So wait, you know, what, what does that mean? As we're working towards a certification, I'm going to be talking about the certification on listing appointments to 75% of homes that don't qualify. And we'll get into a little bit about why that's important later. But what's most important are the 25% of homes that do qualify and you showing off professionalism on how to identify them, how to market them correctly, and how to sell your homes for more money. 
So what is Pearl to you? Okay. Pearl is a market differentiator. It's a market differentiator for your homes that you're selling and for you as an agent. Right? When you think about this, when you're out there asking better questions, we were just talking about professionalism a few minutes ago, right? When you're out there asking better questions to your sellers and you showing off a little bit more knowledge on your listing appointments, what are you doing? You're becoming a trusted advisor. You're differentiating yourself. And when we're marketing these homes correctly, we're differentiating the home in the marketplace. So it's also a listing strategy, right? You're out in your listing appointment. They've interviewed two other agents. All of a sudden, you have shown that you're a little bit more knowledgeable. They just invested a ton of money on a high performance uh, furnace, or they just insulated their house. And you're identifying it, and you're asking questions about it. You know, all of a sudden, you become a little bit more desirable. Wow, the Keller Williams agent down the block didn't ask me these questions. It's a tool to help buyers, right? So if we're marketing these, these features correctly, buyers are out there looking at, well, what exactly does air sealing do for my house? Why is it important for me? Less dust, less mold, less bugs, right? Things like that. And that's what the certification is going to bring to their attention. You know, and it's a conversation story, right? So it's when you're getting into conversations with people like we were just having, and you're, maybe you're at a party and you're talking about a home and people are like, well, I don't know what I should do to my house. What, what upgrades I should do first. Maybe it's not the big expensive kitchen. Maybe it is something like insulation and air sealing or you know, better appliances or something of that nature. So what is Pearl? So Pearl is a nationally recognized certification. Okay, we're backed by Energy Star, Department of Energy, the Appraisal Institute, National Association of Realtors, we're backed by the very best because what we do is we bring investment grade data to the consumer. We uncover it in a house and we're going to sit there and we're going to help you market it. Correctly. So this goes back to something I was talking about earlier. So 25% of homes are sold under value. This is a real stat. This was presented, this was brought up by the Department of Energy. Okay, so they've identified that 25% of homes in the country have all these upgrades that we're gonna talk about today, okay? And, and in the real estate transaction, they go by completely unnoticed. Why is that? Because we just don't know the right questions to ask, right? So when you start doing the math on it, that's $12.5 billion that was left in home value on the table. So what does that mean for you as the, as the real estate agent? $625,000 of, uh, sorry, $625 million in real estate commissions. Now look, the dollars and cents were five percent of the additional on the house. The, the net impact to you as the real estate agent, it, it's going to be marginal in each home. But when you can prove that you are selling homes for more money, how many more listings will you earn? Right. That's the key here. It's sitting there saying, my fiduciary responsibility is to the seller to get maximum value for the house. I know it has these upgrades, and I'm going to help market this home correctly in order to get back all that value. And that's why I'm the best agent for you to list it. All right, so what we offer is a three-tier certification. Okay, so when I say three-tier, it's gold, silver, platinum. Okay, and it's point-based. So, you know, maybe the house has above-grade insulation. Maybe it has, it's been air-sealed and it has a, a a high efficiency furnace. Okay, that might get you to silver. Okay, the next home you go into may have all those, plus it has uh, low E windows, it has some uh, Energy Star appliances, that may get you up to gold. The next one has LED lighting, it has, uh, let's we'll call it a smart thermostat, uh, a couple of other little high efficiency features. Boom, next thing you know, that's a platinum. Now, the platinums are only like 7%, top 7% in the country. Most homes are really going to fall into that silver range. Uh, every once in a blue moon, a, uh, you know, gold comes up and a platinum come up, and you're like, wow, okay. Hey, we just recently had a gold down here. So. All right, so I was just talking about some of the features. Solar, 
which is a completely different certification that we offer. So if a house has solar, it's only solar, we can do a certification just for the solar system. Or we could do a full home certification, like I said, Angostar appliances, um, insulation, windows, LED lighting. Every home has a HERS rating when we do it. So we come in, we do a blower door test, make sure that you know, what the, the air leakage is in the house. So a little neat feature, when you, a little neat uh, conversation starter when you're talking to a, a homeowner about Pearl. We do uh, a blower door test because in most homes, there's about a full window open 24 hours a day. So if your house has been air sealed correctly, this will show that your house is above grade, above the, the average house in the country. Okay? And that, that's good. Why is that good? Less dust, less bug, less mold, things of that nature. Everyone following me so far? Let me just, uh, two quick things that we've hit so far. One in regards to the increased value. And one of the things that we're really happy is that and we can substantiate with one MLS is when we do sell, our list price to sell price ratio is higher than we have. Um, and so I think that means we do a better job on the pricing them. Two, we do a better job on negotiating, getting a better price. This will just add to that. Uh, if in fact, Was the goal. So anyway, the point thing is, he's not here to talk about it. He, he's already for me, uh, you know, walk the walk, which is just incredibly important to me for, for you guys to have people that are really going to be there for you to help make you different, you know, allow you to different yourself. So, so. Thank you, man. So it, one thing that I, that I missed, I'm, I'm glad Michael brought it up, is that the 5% increase in value so that's a real number that we're able to publish. And we're able to publish it because we've done an appraisal study in the state of Virginia. So the appraisal study showed that when you market these homes correctly, and we'll get into how, how to market them, and it's super easy. Um, when you market them correctly, they do sell for more. And it's because of the way we package it, it's the way you draw eyeballs to it. Um, there is some science behind it. But it's bringing these features, again, to the forefront. Because Honestly, no one is going out there saying to themselves when they're starting a home search, I need to make sure the house is air sealed correctly and in some way. But when you learn about it in a subtle way, all of a sudden that feature becomes very important. And we'll get to that. And so it's why do these features matter, right? So you know, they matter for, for three reasons. And it, this, was, this was my, uh, my CEO's Quote, and I love it, it's baby builds in comfort, right? So babies, you know, it's better indoor air quality for your family. So when you hear about something that there's better indoor air quality, you know, all of a sudden, again, that draws eyeballs to it. It matters. Well, of course I want better indoor air quality. I have a baby who has asthma, and I want to make sure they breathe easier. You know, it's monthly cost, right? These homes are more efficient. They're cheaper to run. People care about their bills. Very few people enjoy lighting their bills on fire, lighting their money on fire, and just letting it go, right? And comfort, you know, and this is the funny one, is the thermostat wars that you and your spouse go through when one room is, you know, a thousand degrees, and then the next room, it's, you know, chilly, and the thermostat keeps going up and down and trying to get it out. You know, the, the air, the, the comfortable living is a properly insulated air seal, um, high efficiency burning house is going to be better than living. All right, so now we're going to talk a little bit about differentiating yourself on your listing. All right, so that's the first piece is what is Pearl? 
The next piece is how are you going to leverage this to be a better real estate agent, right? So it's to market differentiate yourself. Okay, and I, I talked about this before. It's your fiduciary responsibility. It's when you're speaking to the when you're speaking to your sellers, it's hey, it's my fiduciary responsibility to get the most value for your home, right? I'm gonna I've, I've gone through specific training where I know how to identify the features of a home that are more desirable for today's buyer. I'm gonna ask you some additional questions and I'm gonna step away from the from script for a second. These are questions that you're asking already and they're just gonna be a little more specific. That's all. Very simple. I'm gonna ask you some questions to see if your house qualifies for a very, uh, a, a very specific certification. So show it, you're going to show off your, how unique you are. We, we talked about this differentiation. You're going to ask questions about the home. And as you're walking through the home, we're going to give you a few tips on some things to look out for. All right, Bob, I mean, I, I know you've done some building. These are things that you're going to be able to identify fairly easily. So I, I asked the two of you. So there's a, an app that we can download. It's, you know, if you go to your app store and you search Pearl Certification, it's going to be there. All right, and, and that's what we're going to walk through right now. So I'm going to do this as if you're, you're on your listing presentation. You can pull out your phone while you're on your listing presentation and do the questionnaire right in real time. And this, the app will tell you if the house qualifies or not right then and there. Okay, and these are going to be the questions that are on the, that are on the, server, on the, the application. So you can sign in with Facebook. I, I encourage you to sign in with Facebook. And the reason why is you're going to have uh, social capabilities where you're able to post facts about the home on, on, your web, on your Facebook page, which is going to be neat. And as we evolve with the app, it's going to be more and more specific. And it'll give you some more social feed to get more legs at every listing. You'll be able to you know, market it two or three times with different information. No, go right ahead. Um, Not that question. <laughs> um, so, if, if a lower door cat obviously is would be a secondary level cat. Is the way the process works when you as an agent or homeowner sits down, you, you fill out, and I haven't seen my app is loading, but you fill out basic information and it tells you, okay, you may qualify. It's good to know. Going to the next level. Yeah, well. Well, my, my certified. So, great question. Thank you. So, the app, if you have a house and you go through the app and you fill it out correctly and it spits out approved, it's like a 99.9% .9 chance it's going to be approved when we walk in the door. Okay? If by chance it spit out an approval and it did not get approved, we eat the cost of it, of sending my certified. That's on the so then, and then we'll sit there and say, okay, well, you know, the, certi the, the certifier came in, they did the blower door test, it didn't, we thought it was going to qualify for silver, it didn't. You know, it really, we, you know, there, there's, there's something there that they have a big hole in the side of the house that wasn't there when the house was built. And we just couldn't, we couldn't uncover with the app and, you know, we're going to, we're going to need that. Well, as an example, the other day, the day at a hospital was there, and for this work, this has got heads. And rightfully so. I mean, we had to take that older house that was fully renovated, spent probably much money. But as we know, installation, uh, everything had been brought to the high of our back. And I was going to say it was because of uh, knowing this kind of thing. We have something that will differentiate you in the marketplace. We're going to need things to show why you price it where it is. This is a great example. There's no doubt in my mind that you will proceed with this certification. Later told the story about the expired listing uh, that he got after somebody else. And when he went to the house, he realized that they had done other things and said, Well, did the other agent talk to you about the performance of your home? That, that you know, we have a that's something of a person in the future. And it turned out that he did that, and that's why the house sold the person that was searching for a home was searching for those things. 
So when you put those things into their listing, it would be MLS. And somebody searched it, it popped up, and that's why they got their name to show their message. So. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through a little bit about what, what to do in terms of the questions that you're gonna ask. And like I said, it's, it's pretty easy. It, as you're typing in the address, now the, the one thing I'll tell you is most people, the first thing that they do is do their own house, which is totally cool. Just don't hit order my, like order my certification. So, um, but if you wanna follow along with me, please, please feel free. So you type in your address. Okay, so I'm gonna type in my own home yeah. that I built. Okay. When did you build it? That's the channel. It's 25 years old. Okay. So I'm looking at that right now. Okay. I know what the key is. The next level, I'm not sure if you saw was around 25 years ago. Okay. I'm certainly heard. I mean, a lot of these won't have any, I won't have any. Okay. That's good. And so does that, does that kick you out of the system? Or? No. So that's yeah. like the app. Right. So as you're going through, you type in the address. It's going to ask you your bill, heating fuel. Um, was it built to a higher standard? And the reason why we ask these questions is because if you click yes to a certain combination, it will automatically kick and approve. Okay. So now you can always continue with the survey. So if you're really showing off, if you're flexing your muscles and you're showing off your professionalism, you keep going through the survey. Unless you feel, like, again, it's gonna be a feel for you while you're on the listing presentation. Is this someone who I have right now and I could just close them with the, your house qualifies for her? Or do I really wanna ask very specific questions about the house? So it's, you have to acknowledge it, but at any point you could get an approval through the app where it, it has enough points. So you go through, again, uh, built to high standards, um, do you have solar panels? The reason why they ask you if you have solar panels, it's going to say, is it owned, the lease? It says own. It's going to let you know that this house qualifies for a special secondary certification. So click here to begin. First question is attic insulation. Have you upgraded your attic insulation in the last 15 years? So most of us don't go into the attic, but if you have access, we can peek in and take a quick look. It's good to know. And again, this is something Keep in mind, if you sit there and say, oh, I wouldn't do that, understand that no other agent is doing it. So if you do take a look in the attic and you sit there and say, well, I'm just checking the attic insulation because I'm going to market it correctly, differentiation. You've immediately done something that every other agent that they have spoken to has not done. Sure. Most points is the is the spray foam, spray foam. So and if, if it's spray, like, that is the that's the one they want because that air seals and it insulates at the same time. And then you know depending on depending on how much rolled and how much blown, it, it depends on what the R value. Is. You know, so I, I'm going through a renovation in my house. Well, I will be. I should say it's not not quite there. And I'm hemming and hawing over the, the doing blow like blown air in, insulation rather than yeah, like it's it's just a bigger expense that I don't want to go through. But I know I know I should do it. That's the killer. It's just trying to convince my wife to spend the extra money on it for the, the long term investment. All right. So again, crawl space. If the house has a crawl space, and you can take a look down there. You have a selfie stick. You can throw a, a, you get a little bit of a video. See what, see what the crawl space looks like. You know, if it's completely enclosed, because years ago they used to have openings in the crawl space, they thought that was better. But they found out that, that, that that's not better. It's actually worse for you. Um, it's bringing, it's bringing you know, uh, unconditioned air into your home. So if it's completely enclosed or not enclosed, if it's you know, insulated, et cetera. Has the house been air sealed? Like, this is my favorite one. Because I need to have it. there's spots in my basement where I can actually see. Like I go around with a cork gun, I, I cork up. So air sealing is a big one. And again, nobody because nobody wants the dust and the mold in the house. So is that your homeowner air seals it with a cork gun, or you you ask them to make that they it's hire somebody? They they hire somebody. Look, That's what you're looking for well, here. 
I guess it's two ways. One is if my certifier can come in and see that they've done it. Again, the ring joist around the house has to be has to be done, and you know that you know, it's been done. The blower door test will really let us know if the house is air sealed. There we go. So this is a little a little shot of air sealing that's going on. So if you did get up into the attic. You kind of see that like orangey stuff that's air sealing around around the outside of the house. So that's where the uh, the roof meets the ceiling, and that's where that's been air sealed. That's like a little trick of the trade. That's how you can know if it's been professionally done or not. There's another one by the rim joist. This is just piping around the house where you see it just kind of. So anytime a pipe like so, when they installed my my air conditioning. And I know that you know they just kind of slap and quote they see it cracking like that's the little stuff that all those little cracks get up to that one big window that's open. All right. This is a this is a funny one because most windows that you're gonna come into contact with are gonna be your 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 double pane, right? But you know, if you know that they have paperwork that shows you that they're low eight or triple pane, those add some points to it. And again, it just it's something that most agents aren't looking for. Heating system, if it's been installed after what is it, 2007, it's been it's been built to a higher standard, so you get some points for that. If it's Energy Star, you know if it's a high efficiency, etc. But the key here is if you don't know what you're looking for, you you now do. So in a furnace, if it has plastic venting on it, it's a high efficiency burn. And you can actually, like, if you really want to show yourself off. As you're going up and you're walking through the house, you could actually comment on, oh, I see you put in a high efficiency burner. Again, a little piece of differentiation as you're talking about the, the features it has. You know, this also has a this also has an air filter for the house too. Which again, it's something that you can eyeball. It's an extension onto the onto the furnace. You know, it helps clean the clean the air so you get better air, air quality in the house. And that does add some points too. Another shot for uh, for the plastic venting. <laughs> the houses were very carefully chosen for this presentation. I can promise you. All right, cooling system again, same thing. It was built 2007 or later. It's been built to a higher standard, Energy Star, et cetera, high efficiency. Um, water heater. Again, there's a trick with the water heater. If it has plastic venting on it, again, high efficiency. So again, if you see it, it's good. Um, if it has a tankless, which which I just installed, which if you don't have, is fantastic. Um, you know, uh, solar, solar heat pump, etc. Those things, those will lay points as well. So then, you get to: is the house qualified or not? Survey result. Congratulations. You have a certified home, a certifiable asset for the house. And this is where you engage in that conversation. Again, <laughs> congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Seller. Your house qualifies for a very special certification. Once we sign this listing agreement, I'm going to have my certification specialist come in, certify the home, so I can properly market it and differentiate it from all the, all the other homes in the area. Why is that important to you? Because homes marketed correctly with the certification sell for 5% more. So, Joe, if you, if you go to cut, today, would it be Pearl Yes. How far back? 2007 is like the general rule of thumb. So after 2007, you're pretty safe you're going to get certification. And if you're before 2000, All right. I guess I'm looking for a rule of thumb to at least think about 
All right, so I kind of tackle that later, but I'll, I'll give it a shot now, okay? That is the best conversation for you to have, okay? And not because you're telling them that their house isn't great. It's because you're telling them that you are a professional real estate agent and you just ask better questions. You don't have to talk about the certification. Well, why are you asking me these questions? Oh, these are all, you know, these are features. These are some of the features that I like to, that we like to highlight because today's buyers are finding them more important when they're moving into a house. Skip over the certification. Because the best conversation you could ever have with somebody is, how come that person didn't ask me? And it's to, to show off, hey, hey, what about this one? Do you have a high performance, uh, whatever, uh, energy star furnace? No, I, I do not. You go through the whole thing. They leave that appointment. They talk to their neighbor who just had one installed. Hey, did you know that that, that was pretty important? I, I wish I would have installed. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm thinking about selling my house. Who are they going to call? The Keller agent that didn't talk about it? Or you because you did? You know, so that's, it's, it's the ripple effect. And, you know, when we get to it, I'll, I'll talk about it. So now, so here, scheduling the certification. Yes. You made a statement saying that if it was built to today's code, then chances are it's good. Is that for all sites? Because is there a now a modular as manufactured warehouse? Is it the same? I, I believe it's the same. I I can double check on that and I'll get back to you, but I believe it's the same. I'll confirm. Yeah, it, it should be. Yeah, there. Look, code code is to code. I'm assuming. I'm. I'm Stepping outside of what I know, I'm going to go off an assumption that in order to get the COs for the house to be, be legal, they're going to have to air seal it. They're going to have to have the, the same standard as what a regular stick built is. They don't have to. But the, the key, the general rule of thumb is the standards have, you know, thank, thankful for us, thankfully for us, the standards have changed for, you know, as time has gone on to become more stringent. So the so the certification lasts when we come in. The certification lasts for three years. Okay, and the reason why we, we can only leave it for three years is because appliances break down, people do installs. There's a hole in the side of the house. You know, like the, those general types of things. So we need to make sure that we can, before we put our stamp of approval on it, that the house hasn't changed. But I think the answer to your question, which I really appreciate you asking, is when you understand this program, this is a great way to reach out to you and your past clients to say, here's some things that you need to think about as you look at your house that will help you value your home as well as when you want to turn it down. Or if you're focusing in on a geographic area and you're trying to market for those things, to just you know, to send a postcard out that says, um, you know, there's, a, there's a new program called uh, home certification. Uh, if, if you'd like to know more about it, please keep in touch with me. And that way you can chat with them, build a relationship with them so that whenever they do decide to sell, you're going to provide them that, that information. So I think it's a great place to, to you know, influence your Link as well, mm -hmm. and so you already have some information about it. You know, when I think there, so I just think it's a great way to market yourself into a, a 
an area or you're here, everybody showing expertise that you're sharing something that nobody else is willing to share. Well, you, I mean, I'm also saying we all sit at the beginning. We go to our homes and look at our older homes. And people come here and they don't want to be bothered all the time. And we think, I'm saying, you do. Because you're already ready for a return on your investment. So there was a stat that was published by the Department of Energy that the, the one investment, there's one investment that you can do to your house that you can get, you will get a dollar for dollar return on. It's insulation. And depending on depending on where you're located, you actually can get more money for what it costs to, to put insulation. So yeah, like bringing that kind of information, that becomes like that trusted advisor thing that we were talking about. So these, these are the things that you, you work towards, you want to work towards as a real estate agent. So, so again, the whole sorry, but the whole thing about being the source for the source. Somebody asked about this. Oh, well, we've got this wonderful or a, a broker certified is that this one and which is another place that you're you know, you have information that you can buy for people. All right, so we're we're here. Congratulations. We get to click the button, the button. So instantly, if you you sit there, you, you review this with your with yourself. Okay, cost of the certification. I'll talk about that now. Three hundred sixty nine dollars. The doesn't next matter how big, flat big. Three hundred sixty nine. That includes the marketing packet. Includes a hell of a lot more that I'll review with you in a second. But the next question that I get asked all the time is, well, who pays for that? So the good news is, you know, Michael has signed up, you know, Gordon Wheeler, and then they're one of our brokerage companies. So you get to pay for this at close. For the six months before closing the general So you can include, you can wrap it into the closing cost. The other piece of this, okay, is um, do I pay for it or does the homeowner pay for it? And I am not going to tackle that question for you. That is up to you, the real estate agent, on what you want. So the answer is, you know, so yeah, thing, no, no, no. You know, and that's the answer. The second answer is, if it comes down to the fact that you're, you're negotiating and, and trying to get your, your commission, you may say, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to use my commission, but I will, at close, it pay for the, for the real certification, I believe in that. Or, um, you know, uh, yeah, so the fact that you can pay at close, that it's not enough for a cost, it's just like home work. It's no great. So the, the rack price is four twenty five. So the, the, home, the, the, rack, the rack, the rack, yeah. So if your if your customer came to came to us independently and said, well, we want to certify the house, it'd be four hundred twenty five. They go through you, and they have to pay for it right there. So the advantage of using a Roy Wheeler agent using yourself is you get a discount and they get paid for it. So if you notice, as I was walking through, so let me, I, I have one question. Sure. Am I right to say that? We're the only other broker other than Nest that is certified in the same. What do you know? Is there, are there others now? I know you have one. There's one, but they don't use us. They, 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 their usage is low. Anyway, there's another thing to say. That's why you wouldn't. That's why you wouldn't know that. Yeah. Where? Uh, so I don't know how much longer they're going to be in the system. Right? Okay. As long as you filled out, as long as you did an honest, an honest run at the at, at the survey, yeah. So as long as you weren't clicking and like, yes, high performance, oh, yeah. yes, yes, yeah, you can have it all. Yeah, but well, yeah. Um, okay, I, I was gonna, I, I lost my train, but I'll get Sorry. back. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. I'll ask you. Yeah, We have a Hirsch rate, so they do the whole. So they come in. So it, it's a it's. I highly encourage you to go to the certification. Don't just send, don't, don't just send the, the person that has. 
because you will learn a lot. You know, when they're going through the house and they're counting light bulbs, they're going in and they're checking the windows. You know, there's a there's a way of if you go up to the window and you, you shine a light into the window, if if I'm on a low E, if you see green, if the reflection is green, it's probably a low E window. And they do like little tricks in the trade to see what type of windows. So again, there's a little ways that like when you go to a couple, you can start flexing your muscles and showing what your profession is. Where do I learn that? Oh, just if you have a lighter with you? No, but I mean, you, is it in the, in your, in your, no, well, the, no, the, the certifier will, the cert, you'll see the you certifier. Go through a couple times with the certifier. Certifier, and you'll see, you'll see all the things they're picking out and all the things that will be No, you'll end up with a herd rate. Yeah. And that will determine your, your qualifying or, and your level of qualifying. Yes. Based on the herd rate. The herd rating and the gathering of the other information. I mean, this is a, you know, the, the certification, you know, probably the whole certification probably takes about an hour. You know, the certifier will walk through the house, you know, and they're checking, again, windows, lights, thermostats. They're looking for, for the air sealing around the house. They're looking for insulation around the house. They're looking for, you know, any high performing feature that they can gather. You know, if it, if it has an air filtration system or things of that nature. And that, that's all what brings that certification. So, you schedule, this, you schedule a certification visit, the certifier will reach out to you, set the appointment. The certifier gets the certification back to us, gets all the information, we put it into our system, and then we give you your certification and all the marketing collateral. So that's where we're at now, which is the fun part, which is how do we display the, the certification, right? So what you have, hold on, let's get all these checked. There we go, all right. So you get the certification, you get a certification report, you get an appraisal addendum, which is an official addendum published by the Appraisal Institute. Okay, it's the green and energy efficient appraisal addendum, which helps the appraiser count the value for these assets. It's filled out by third party people. It's very important. Okay, so this gives you the ability to count all those assets in the house that we've gathered and actually get value for them. All right, the, uh, the MLS listing report. So this is cool. So we all know those little green features that we all don't like to check in the MLS. What we've done is we've coordinated with your MLS so we know what green fields they have. So we tell you which ones to check. So you don't have to go through. It's, a, it's an extra little, little thing in there. Um, there's print materials that we'll give you. My favorite, it's the nerdiest part of this, and it's like a... They, we give you these little home tour cards that you get to post around the house of, to identify all the assets. Because let's face it, you're not going to be there for everybody, right? But what you're going to show is how professional you are as a real estate agent, and each one of those features will be marked. So they get to the furnace. And not only will it tell them, hey, this is a high performance your furnace, they'll say this furnace is in the top 7% in the state of Virginia. The, the air ceiling in this house is in the top X percent insulations and the top percentage. So you can mark all these features around the house as you go through. But this is the, if you're going to do nothing else, nothing else, this is the one thing that we ask. We give you a, a digital copy of the certificate. So when I said it's super easy, you put it in the second or the third picture of the home. Second picture is really where you want it. Okay, because as the homeowners or future homeowners, so the buyers, are going through the MLS and they're looking at all the different houses, they come across your listing and it's, what's this certification? Why is this different? It draws eyeballs to something that they've never seen before or they see very rarely. That's what makes it special. You call it out in the remarks, rural certified gold, rural certified silver, rural certified platinum. When I say super easy, you do this, you use the MLS report to check off your green fields, you put up the tour cards, and you're done. Super easy. The other thing is from, you may have to it, but I'm not, I hear you based on marketing. No. Because this is, yeah, I just took a picture of Bill with the with the card. I put it on the board little side saying thanks to Bill. I put 
post-certification shows up from anybody that is not a post-certification is going to see that you, you've done that same thing in your listing. If you've got a Facebook business page, I like post-certification so that it, it is, um, I might use the right word, but, but basically if you like, if you highlight me, you post something, I mean, I'm going to get, I'm going to get noticed that you posted, like in the LLC, you know, everything he's sending out, you highlight for the room. And so every time a reviewer notices that, then we can share that out and understand the same thing with this, that post certification will see that I put that in there. And, and if they do, they can share that out and say, this is a public well. So it just increases the opportunity for your listing to be seen by a lot more people. All right, so, excuse me, I'm going to go around. These are the, the home tour cards that I was talking about. So here, say, Air ceiling, top 1% of Virginia homes. You have a buyer that's walking through the house. They had no idea about air ceiling two minutes ago. Now they just learned a hell of a lot about it. And quite honestly, that buyer is sitting there saying to themselves, this, this agent is pretty good in listing this house. That's what you want, right? Yeah. Different, you know, different, uh, what do you call it, piece of collateral for the house. Everybody's used to the same, you know, everybody sees when they come in a, in a house, they get the same house card, you have the kitchen, et cetera, et cetera. You're just speaking a different language. You could have that, you know, this in addition to your regular sheet that you would have the one page in the house uh, on your listing. The certification report. Now, this is a piece that gets uploaded to the MLS along with the appraisal again. This is a full report. It's gonna have a ton of information. You can email this out to every buyer that comes to take a look at it. You want an open house, 10 people came to look. It gives you a reason to follow up with all 10. It gives you, again, another talk track. Hey, you came to check out 123 Main Street. This is additional information I'm not sure that you saw. And again, it's gonna give a full breakdown of all the information from the certification, why it's important, every piece about the house. Again, it's making the house stand out. It's also making you stand out. Okay, if you have a solar report, the the solar the solar cost. We're we're actually talking about reducing significantly reducing the solar report. So uh, this is separate from that certification, the full certification. It's going to be significantly cheaper. Okay, because the solar report. You could do a lot of the work yourself by just submitting the information to us rather than us sending a certifier out. We could work with you on this. But this report is extremely important. If someone's buying a house with solar, to understand when the inverter was installed, to understand how, what the, the warranty is on the, on the panels, what type of panels they are. Those are all important things. How efficient the, the, the system is running. You know, if we get a report on it, we can actually look into it and break it down for you. These are all things that the buyer is going to want to know. It's important. So, Joe, you know, if you had a house uh, that's 20 years old and it had its own, there's a chance it could not be pearl. It could be so. No, it definitely be solar. So you would, if you can issue just a solar report. A solar report that would also have to market the house. Yes. The other thing, just as an example, is Segura. Segura comes in and they, they do um, the solar work here automatically for certain. Because they're going to do the things they need to do to make that system most efficient there. So um, they provide the, the pearl certified solar and pearl certified account. No, no. no so they get the pearl certification. No, they get the pearl certification rating, I think. They well, if they do, if they do the, because now they're doing the energy retrofits. Right. If they do the retrofit, they're getting that certified as well, so they can they can get the house done. But you know, it, it depends on what they on the contractor side. Yeah, I mean, I can see all our homes putting solar without going through redoing the windows, changing the right. AC, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So the, so you know, as a sideboard, so what we do is we have two verticals in the company: the contractor vertical, real estate vertical. We take the top five percent of the contractors in the country. Segura is one, Vermont Homes is one, um, and what they do is they can. Um, as they're doing their upgrades, they can get them certified by Pearl. And if they do enough in a house, we can do the whole house. 
So Segor just went into doing high performance upgrades. So they're doing you know, the air sealing and insulation and things of that nature in addition to solar. So if they're doing the whole retrofit. So this is the cool piece that gets the most attention. And this is what we're doing a lot of training in the area with the, with the appraisers on. Um, you know, Greg Slater's done a great job bringing training to the area for it uh, with LEAP. So this is the Green Efficient Appraisal Addendum. This isn't something that Pearl has made up. This is, this is the Appraisal Institute. It's their document. We just fill it out on their behalf. This is what you, you upload this to the MLS, and you also would send this to your appraiser when they come to do the appraisal. Uploading it to the MLS isn't enough. It's to let them know. We also provide you with a letter to send out to the lender and the appraiser to talk about you know, the, the pro certification. So also, there's an online resource portal, postcards, different marketing collateral, things of that nature that you could use to help, again, as you market your homes, market yourself, speak a different language to, the, you know, to today's consumers. It's out there. There's a ton of stuff. And if we don't have what you need, let us know. We're small enough, we're nimble enough. We'll figure a way to create it. It may take us a little time. But if you sit there and say, oh, if you really had a postcard that said this, there's no idea that's out of bounds. I love hearing your stuff. I, I can't tell you what you need locally. You know, we'll, we'll help you get there. Um, yeah, again, scripts, templates, postcards, text, logos. All the good stuff. All right, so um, professional development. Hold on, because I'm, I'm running late. I'm trying to catch up here. Um, hold on, I'm, I'm almost on time. It's not great. Uh, yeah, thanks. So we do send out newsletters. The newsletters have a great open rate. I would suggest you take the newsletters. You can borrow that, that stuff and repost it socially. That's the stuff that today's consumers are going to be looking for. You know, if you're trying to get out there talking to your sphere of influence, it's a way to kind of talk, have a new conversation without sounding like every other real estate agent that's just posting their list of things online. One, two, three, main streets to sale again. <laughs> um, so it, this is something that I like to talk about. So we spoke about it before. It's the 25% of homes that qualify that we're trying to capture, but it's the 100% of consumers that we're trying to appeal to. Right? You could be a professional 100% of the time talking about. It's not just the 25% of the homes. Because there, I have agents that shortcut it all the time. They go into a house and they're like, ah, this isn't going to work. And that's, if you're really looking to change your strategy or do something different, you do it 100% of the time. So, yeah, I guess the question here is, would anyone like to take a guess which one of these homes will Pearl certify? Oh. One and four. Well, of course. Oh, that was that was a softball, but but again, it was we talked we talked about it before, right? It's the it's the ripple effect. It's not only about the customer that is in front of you. It's not always just about that person. It's about who they speak to. So I, I, my question is done in, I done in fur that I don't, I, I like this a lot. Because um, it's a hard thing to sell. I've tried over a long period of time on my own and failed. Um, when you're going through with a client, which I've never done, are we talking about an app? Are we talking about a form? They, you know, when you say, hey, you need to demonstrate your knowledge, I, I support. I'm not sure if, you, if I'm working on an app on my phone, I'm not sure that's quite the professionalism I'm saying. Sure. And my listing presentation, most of my listing presentations, I don't expect most of the because you get to show them they don't have that much time. So I share with them that I'm going to be there at the region that I'm going to put there's some important parts in there that I do want to share with them because we want to talk about that. And I have 30 years, and so 
prior to those So I'm very aware of lots of things. So over those years, I have um, a couple of forms and I was in recognition for several years. And there's ways that I have developed checks. So if my mom doesn't have the original image, and I say, well, you know, I'm in the audience, it's just for this kind of reaction. All your senior or above readers have to be Low tag, meaning it's not going to look, it's going to usually look far, bottom right or left, and look in that direction. It's not. You pop that thing up and it looks in your brain and you're okay. So you can like double check yourself and say, you know what? You know what? Let's all go in and check together. And that can happen in our Yeah, so we do have, I think, in the back of this question, I'm pretty sure it's not open. Okay. No, that's that looks pretty intimidating. Well, that's the appraisal that we go out for. So I'm just curious how you, so, how you would anticipate that playing out. See, so I'm, I'm so you're, you know, you can hear off top of all that. Yeah, okay, there's a, there's a here's the question. So, look, you're asking, if you're asking me, I use a yes. You do. Because I'm a tech guy. There's some people that don't want to take a chance with tech and tech going wrong. And I, I understand that. I feel confident enough that I can navigate around it. But again, it's what I want to do with my passion. So, in this view, maybe you fill this out. And you know you can do the audible test, but you know you're pretty sure. And you can do the actual with the car. I like the power of that statement of congratulations. Oh, this was going to be before I forgot. Okay. If you notice throughout this, I didn't identify Pearl in any of my 12 tracks. So I said, congratulations, you qualify for a nationally recognized certification. Uh, and I stopped it. One, because I want you to be the source of the information. Okay? I don't want them taking your knowledge to go into the Keller Williams Eagle. We try to undercut you okay? and say, well, I'm going to do a certification with you, da, da, da. That's why you get the discount. That's why they don't. That's why I act like this happens. Right. You sit there and say, I'm going to, after you sign, after you sign your listing agreement, I'm going to send in my certification test. Right. Not my pro certification test. You qualify for pro. There's some people that like to talk about pro like Greg Slater because he's clean. He's Got a little different of a talk track, but for me, I'm sitting out playing a little close to the best. Saying, I'm the whole information, I'm the professional. If you go through me, this is I'm gonna go with you. It's part of my listing, it's part of the it's part of my marketing. This is what I need. I have a question. Sure. Because I'm, I tend to be more of a buyer's agent. So as my buyer, what if I'm walking into a home and I'm recognize all these things and the listing agent doesn't know it? What can I offer my buyer? No. Okay. But is there something in a course which I already do as much as I'm confident and I know for sure about without trying to be a contractor or HGH or whatever? But along with this, is there something that I can say to them? Hey, I recognize this house. Is that something that I can offer them after? Well, I think you do one of two things. One, you could, if, it, if you're in the right market, not if it's a multiple contract registration, something like that, you could actually say as part of your home inspection, um, the seller agrees to have the presentation test done to satisfy a purchaser that it, it, it is energy efficient, it is performing. You can get that seller to you could do that. Or secondly, like you said, I'm guessing, and you tell me, Joe, they close on the property, and then they have that done, they would get that same reduction in the cost of that, 369 versus the 45, because it came through the company. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, look, it, the discount always is always there for the, the brokerage. As much as I want those certifications, I think the and trust me, I do. I'm not trying to tell you that. You know, there's so many things that could go wrong for a buyer. Have them invest money in the certification. When they do well, once you bring in, you next thing you know, they certify the house to satisfy their own desire to know if it's really good for them. Um, and all of a sudden, it falls through. Now, the house was tight on value, and you were trying to give it a little value, you had people who have done that. So for example, I'm not trying to look for the one percent or one percent, but if you got an issue with price, people have asked for that and a lot of money. As a buyer's agent, you look at it and go, I, I, I don't know whether that's a portable price. But it's unique and the customer loves it. They're ready to spend the money. It's, a, it's an opportunity for you to influence your price. Yes. Yes. It is an opportunity. So now the, the way appraisers work, and they, it's funny, they, there's this leeway that they have that they hold on to. And most appraisers will, will go into the leeway of the higher end because there's, you know, they, they have to assign value to it. But the house is more efficient than the room, then they have to be able to do it. So you just don't get it. They have to So if you're a few thousand dollars, Supposed to, they're supposed to do they're supposed to do a cost analysis per year, which is a little more time consuming. So they're supposed to identify the, the seven attributes of the house, whether it's pearl certified or not. On a cost basis. So if they want on a cost basis on the grade and they have the new information, they will have them to the information. Otherwise they use a contract, otherwise they use a So we represent the seller, they have this certification, we have a contract, the home is like falling apart. The seller gets frustrated and says, I'm not going to be listening. So now you have this cost out that you're going to Is it something that's understood that Mr. Seller, if for some reason something were to fall apart, is that discount still in place? That yeah, so they get the discount. Uh, you know, unfortunately, you're going to lose on this one. But you know, they like to see those stuff all. The last thing you need to set up on the cross application. Why would we use the yield bell Well, the, right. The, the reason the reason why we don't have it because it's really we leave it up to the agent to decide. We do have agents that pay for it themselves as part of their marketing. We do have you know homeowners that pay for it because they. So for us, it's kind of a loose. Yeah. But what I'm saying is to help. If you had this is a, a, uh, on the form, it says should this thing. understands they're responsible. If I'm going to pay for it, that can be crossed out in the initial. So if I'm a, a broker or an agent, I'm going to pay for that cost out initial. But if it's in there, it, it's, it just allows us to be able to say, you know, in that 1% chance that, you know, when you decide to take off the mark, whatever, I want to make sure you're aware that, that this is what you spent. We're not obviously political. Contract. 
contract between somebody and, and your organization. That's true. Well, there's a contract between the real estate agent and the listing agent. Right. It's, right. it's a between them. The real estate agent. No, there's no listing agent. Yeah. Right. Well, what's happening is if you're going through the app and you're filling it out on behalf for them to get the discount, you're filling it out on behalf of the homeowner. You know, it's really the contract between the agent and agent and pearl, not homeowner and pearl. So the people don't pay. You're We're looking at the agent to help us, right? Josh, a great question. I have a question. Sure. No. Energy stuff, but energy stuff for new build is really for new construction, and it's becoming less and less used. There's Earthcraft, which really isn't used that all that much. You know, there's different designations out there. What Pearl really is is like one giant like hub around all the different certifications. But where the reason why our investors love us is that we really have we are the market. That's what we and when you say back buy, you started your presentation back buy, and you listed a variety of organizations, including energy. What does that mean, back buy? Well, you know, they sign off on our work. You know how hard it is to get the Energy Star label on your on your product. Yeah, it's you know, they back they back our data, so they approve it, which is neat. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Anyone else? So now, so I gave you all my business card. If you need help, anyone watching, <laughs> contact me. This is my personal information. I get to you as fast as I possibly can. Uh, my little to core. This is what I do. My job is to make you guys more successful. So whatever I can do to help you, go out there, run this promo marketplace. That's my job. Thank you guys very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I did not play lacrosse. I was I was arrested. Uh, yeah, I was not I always said rugby. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, See, I was gonna say Russell just <laughs> I um lacrosse was just starting to get big when I was in high school. Just started. And like it was a kid. Yeah. And then once we graduated, it just took 
Thank you very much. Thank you for all the questions. I, I do. Thank you. Yeah, that's, it's the material gets dry. You don't get the questions. It, uh, well, I, uh, I literally have a lot of questions. I, I have enough knowledge to know what I don't know. Take your back. Thank you very much. 